Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. So in today's tutorial, we are going to be using a molded stone from the Happy Dotting Company. And I printed off the template from her website uh, for this uh, small oval, found the center, and I'm marking some circles on either side of that center because I wanna do some owl eyes. And I thank you for joining me um, on this uh, kind of fun and unique journey of these um, little owl eyes. So um, so yeah, I just used the, uh, uh, the compass there um, and I lined up the pencil part to the center dot rather than like the pokey part of the, um, the compass there. So that way I could get a circle on either side of that center. And then I used uh, one of my daubing, daubing, oh boy, I'm having a hard time with words today. Um, my finger daubers. Um, unfortunately, I forgot to put one in water and it hardened so the sponge was no good to use anymore. So I ripped off the sponge and I can use it as um, a template. And that's what I did for the uh, center part of these eyes. So now um, I'm going in and I'm blending in uh, a couple of uh, blues. So the first blue that I'm using, or that I did use, I'm past that point now, is the phalo blue from Delta. And then I went in with Bahama blue from DecoArt and I'm just blending them together. So I have the dark uh, phalo blue on the outside and then I have the lighter blue on the inside and I just blend them in together and it actually makes it look like it glows, that the owl's eyes are glowing. And that's exactly what I was trying to achieve and it, it was awesome. So uh, I was very happy with the outcome of that. And that's just the beginning. I do a lot of funky stuff with this eye or with these eyes. Uh, I really wanted it to be so not natural. Um, I wanted to have some fun with some color, with different techniques, um, just a whole bunch of fun stuff sort of all wrapped up into one little package. And these little owl eyes, when they're finished, they are adorable. So I hope you stick around to the end of the video where I post the uh, end result photos. And um, I hope you agree that uh, they are the most cutest little owl eyes. They almost remind me of like little baby owl eyes because they're so big and uh, just so colorful and full of life. So, um, and then you've, you'll see too that I've also drawn a little triangle down at the bottom. I had to put a beak in there because you got to know what kind of a bird it is. So um, I put in uh, a beak as well. So I'm using a, pe a paintbrush that I purchased a few years ago, actually. It was a package of 100 um, and I got them from Amazon. They're actually called makeup brushes and they... Uh, they last forever. I've got so many, like I said, I purchased a package of 100, fairly inexpensive. I think they were like, I don't know, $5 or something on Amazon. I don't know what they're worth now. Um, but like I said, it was a few years ago and they're perfect because you get a couple of uses out of them and then the bristles start to fall out. I don't think that they're meant for um, wet acrylic paint and more of like putting on eyeshadow, uh, that sort of thing, but they, they work well. And I have so many of them left over. And when my other brushes are being cleaned and I need something, this is what I go to. So, um, I, I'm not sure if there's a link in the description below for that. Um, I believe there is, if there's not, let me know. Um, and if the link doesn't work, let me know. Um, I don't always check, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm, I should be more diligent on that, but um, that's a lot of information is down there in the description for where I get my tools and my um, deals and things like that, and I like to pass it on to you. So, um, so now I'm putting on while the beak is drying. So yes, I just uh, painted the beak 
with that paintbrush and I use cadmium orange uh, from DecoArt. And while that's drying, I'm putting on some circles and uh, dots on the owl's eyes inside the pupil. However, when I get further along on this, I realize that those white half circles that I'm doing right now just didn't work. So that's the beauty of acrylic paint. Once it's dry, you can just paint right over it. And that's exactly what I do. Um, but I don't do that until much later in the video because um, I'm just doing uh, what I thought would look really cute. Um, and then as I continued on, I didn't like it anymore. So I left it or I, I removed it. Let me know if you liked it with it there or without. Um, but wait till the end of the video to, uh, to leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, because I'm telling you, we get into some really wacky colors here. If you saw the thumbnail at the beginning of the video, um, you'll see that this guy is very colorful and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted some really bright colors for him. So he's like nice and fun and, um, just absolutely adorable. So I'm using um, red. Uh, this one is called Red Alert and it's from Deco Art. Now all of the names, uh, the brand names and the actual paint names will be listed in the description below. Um, so if I do forget to mention something or if I've mentioned it and you didn't hear me or whatever the reason, all information is down in the description. I know I keep repeating myself, but it's a great place to go to after you watch the video to get all of the information about this video. So tools that I've used, colors that I've used, but you know what? I don't want you to go out to the store and buy every single color that I used. I want you to use what's in your stash, what you have available to you, because there's nothing more fun than seeing a design that you like and then applying your own colors and th the different variations that you get is absolutely amazing and you can be so proud of yourself for doing this and using the paint colors that you have and I'm not discouraging you if you want to go out and buy them go right ahead I'm not stopping you um, but I'm just saying that uh, sometimes using the colors that you have are usually your favorite colors and that's why you have them you could create such an, an interesting look. Um, maybe not even make it an owl, make it a, some other kind of bird, um, or maybe not a bird at all, maybe some raccoon eyes or cat's eyes or whatever you want to do with it. Um, I find that these little oval rocks uh, that I make from the molds from the Happy Dot and Company are perfect for doing eyes. And I've done so many eyes. I believe there is a tutorial in my library that shows me doing cat's eyes for Halloween and I believe it was last year. So you could always just uh, go through my inventory or like my my library that I have or you can search it um, but I'm pretty sure it's called uh, cat's eyes and uh, um, that I did that uh, as a video. So um, I do all sorts of different kinds of eyes. I've done wolf eyes. I've done um, like eyes kind of peeking underneath the rug. Uh, all sorts of different kinds of eyes with these little ovals. So uh, that's what I love with these little ovals and they sell. Uh, what can I say? Um, they're, uh, they're the ones that I find uh, the little little children that come to the craft shows and things like that that I'm at um, they tend to draw to it because they're they fit nicely into their little hands and they're fairly inexpensive that mom and dad will cave and pay <laughs> so um, that's why I like to make them uh, as fun as possible lots of brilliant colors um, and have fun with it because uh, it's just it's so gratifying to me when I see um, a child come up and just hold on to it and say that they love it. And so, yeah, that it really, really humbles me. So 
Um, I've put on some uh, green and that green is called light green. It's from Craft Smart. Um, and now you're watching me get rid of those white half circles that were inside the pupil. Um, like I said, as I was going along and I was putting on the extra colors, it just didn't look right. So I decided, nope, I'm going to get rid of them and uh, just put uh, a black pupil on there. I do make the little white dots a little bit bigger, um, but that's a little bit down the road. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is I'm using one of my uh, dotting tools. It's one of the smallest ones that I have. It's almost like a needle, like it comes to a point. Um, I don't know the sizes of them. And even if I did, I don't know if I would tell you because um, I, th I find that everyone's uh, dotting tools are a little bit different in size depending on when and where you bought them from so or maybe you just acquired them but anyways I'm using uh, glorious gold that is made by uh, deco art and I'm just dotting around the outside of that dark blue and it just gives a nice break from one color to the other and I do the same for both so for both eyes, obviously, I mean, you got to have, if you do one to one, you got to do to the other, right? So that's what I'm doing here and uh, just putting on these little gold dots. So uh, while I dot away, I'm just going to uh, remind you that um, if you like the video, I'd love to see those thumbs up. And if you're new, welcome. I'm happy that you could join us today. Um, make sure you subscribe before you leave and don't forget to ring that little bell because it will send you a notification every time I post something new. So, and you don't want to miss anything new. I've got a couple of tutorials that are sort of in the editing stages, but I will have them up and ready uh, within the next week. Um, so I, I can continue to post at least once a week. So those are coming um, as well as the next full moon in the full moon series that I've been doing. Um, and uh, don't, you don't want to miss that one. So uh, I do have things that are up and coming and life is getting busy because I have been um, painting like crazy for inventory for my upcoming craft shows uh, that will be starting fairly shortly. So um, got to make sure that I have that inventory uh, all ready to go. Um, so I also wanted to let you guys know that my Etsy shop has not been doing very well at all. Uh, so I have, um, been contemplating about keeping it going or if I should, uh, just forget about that part of it. Um, I'm not, uh, I've only had two sales to be honest with you and I was very disappointed. I thought I would have more more than just two sales in the last uh, four years that it's been up. So um, I'm, I'm going to contemplate about it. Uh, I'll let you know in the next video what I decide. Uh, but the way it's looking right now is um, I just can't afford to keep it up and running if I'm not going to be making any sales. It's, I shouldn't say I can't afford it. It's just more of there's no reason. You know what I mean? So um but I'll let you know uh, in the next video what I uh, what I decide. If you want to leave me a comment about it, uh, please do so. Um, I'm just um, I don't know. I, I'm just oh, I I don't know, folks. It's just it's a very hard thing to make a decision on. But when something just isn't working, you know, you gotta figure it when it's time to to let go. So, um, I'm going to give it one more week of thought. All right. <laughs> so, um, now back to what I've been painting. So while I've been, uh, jibber jabber in a way, you would have seen me finish up those gold dots. You would have seen me do a black thin outline between the red and the, yeah, or, uh, green. And now you're watching me blend um, the nose, ah, his beak, nose, beak, he smells out of it too, right? So whatever. Um, so yeah, so I'm just blending in. Uh, so I put another coat of the cadmium yellow or cadmium orange on there. And then what I did over top was I just added white while the paint was still wet. So this gave me 
the ability to move the paint around and I could have light areas and dark areas uh, on his beak because eventually I'm going to be putting some nostrils in there. So um, that, uh, that's going to have to dry uh, quite well before I put those little black nostrils on there. And I decided that uh, one coat of this, um, what was it called? The light green from Craft Smart. I just found that it wasn't quite covering well. So I did a second coat and the second coat worked better um, and uh, certainly gave me better coverages. So, um, and it really brightened it up. So I'm glad that I did that. And I actually, I noticed that in some of the Craft Smart paint, is they're a little bit watery um, and they tend not to um, spread as nicely or that they require more than one coat. That's okay with me uh, because I'm okay to do two, three, four coats because I just love to paint. And the nice thing is if you do paint over something else, and I've said this already, it's acrylic paint. So all you have to do is let it dry and then paint over it and then it's gone. So, <laughs> uh, that's, that's the beauty of, um, of using this, uh, acrylic paints. So now I'm adding some more metallic colors. So this is Peacock Pearl from uh, DecoArt. And I'm just using another one of my dotting tools. This is um, just a, a clear acrylic rod. Um, and I'm just putting on dots. And I'm sort of making them kiss that red part around his eye. Uh, but keeping the majority of the dot into the green. Uh, I did this because uh, some of the black that I did as the outline wasn't as perfect as I wanted it to be, but this made it look okay without having to go back in and redoing it all and, you know, fixing it all up. I just put these on there to really cover it up. And you can still see that black line, but it's okay that it's not perfect. And then I just use my nail stylist again, or my small dotting tool, so that I could uh, bring the down, bring those dots down smaller uh, at the, um, I don't know what we call that, like where his eyebrows would be, like if he was scouring or something and his eyebrows would be like furrowed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But anyways, that's what I did at the top. So I brought them down and I just walked the dots in there. Um, and now I'm just cleaning it up with some black paint. Uh, the nose or his beak is still a little bit wet. So uh, we're just going to give that a few more minutes to dry. Um, and I'm just going around and I'm just cleaning up with the black paint all the way around. Try to make it as smooth as I can. Um, or at least as clean as I can. Um, and I'm just doing, uh, like the black all the way around and it just, it really does clean it right up, um, just to, uh, make those edges a little bit sharper. Uh, sometimes I use a paintbrush that uh, might have one or two hairs that are kind of floating around and they leave little marks and you can't really see them very well uh, on the camera, but they're there and I know they're there and I don't want them there. So... I have to go over with some black paint and just cover them up and then you never knew that they were there. So that's what I do with that part anyways. So um, I'm just uh, finishing up trying to keep it as symmetrical as possible but uh, if it isn't that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. It's looking really cute, really adorable the inside of his eyes look like they're glowing because of that blue that we used and the technique that we did. So now I'm just adding his pupils, I'll add his nostrils and it's finished. So there you have it folks, life is what you make it. So get creative.